Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Wednesday, the 11th of March, and I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, Blue House leads at Naomi Spree. And in our feature for this evening, Red House edges away at Maud Cross Prep. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. It's here, the family of EC Polymer Notes, our new money. Here's what you can do to ensure your EC Polymer Notes remain clean and last longer. Dry wet notes with cloth or paper towel. Wipe soiled notes with a damp cloth. You can carry your notes in your wallet, purse, or pocket. However, avoid creasing, crumpling, or stapling your polymer note. If by accident your polymer note gets tumbled in the washing machine or dryer, you can take out the creases by smoothing the note with your hand. Do not iron your polymer note. New polymer notes may cling together. You can loosen them by tapping the notes against a hard surface or shuffling them. EC Polymer Notes are new money. Cleaner, safer, stronger. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. The annual Giant Mall sponsored high school's cricket championships within the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis was set to commence earlier today, Wednesday, 11th March. It should have started at the E.T. Willett Park with a local grudge match between the two local high schools, defending champions Charlestown Secondary School and arch rivals Gingerland Secondary School. The match was set to commence at 10 a.m. And of course, as the matches continue, the general public is cordially invited to come out and support the youngsters in some exciting cricket matches. On Friday, this coming Friday, the 13th of March, the Gingerland Secondary Team journeys over to St. Kitts to take on a development team at Connery, while Charlestown Secondary will take on Kayon Secondary at the E.T. Willett Park. Now to athletics, a lot of excited parents and other family members showed up at the Naomi's Preschool on Monday, 9th March. It was the day for the annual road races for the school. The Tiny Tots had the shortest distance to cover, and the distances got longer based on the age range of the children. Some of the races were very competitive, but all of them were very well appreciated by those present. The points tally for the two competing houses following the road races are Blue House 111 points and Red House in second on 56 points. Of course, the school was set to hold their sports meet earlier today and we'll keep you updated on that. The patron for today should have been Miss Carla Daniel. We go now to the Naomi's Preschool and we pick up the action with the road races. They are off, off and running. Some of them turning, but well, he's gone to school. He knows where he's supposed to go. Others, oh, he knows about track and field. This guy, my goodness, look at him. Look at him go. He's laughing his way in. He's laughing his way in. My goodness, we have a winner. We have a winner. We have a winner. He knows what he's about. This one is being urged to continue. Urged to continue. He hasn't crossed the line yet. He hasn't crossed the line yet. Well, maybe they will count that as second place. And then we have the third placer coming in. And the fourth placer. Crying his way in. Running through the win, second place, and then third. And then we have the fourth placer coming through. My goodness, jetting it in. And then the fifth placer with a smile on her face. Not too sure if she should finish, but she's looking for mommy or daddy and gets across the line just about now. Well, maybe not clear cut because it's going to be a clear cut. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. These guys know what they're looking for. He's looking as if he's stumbling. There's a clear winner. Oh, there's a clear winner. And then third. And then this one is green in his way. No, he's green in his way. He greens his way to money. And then the others. Cross starts again. So now they're on their way. 
and all two of them seem to be struggling, but there's a young lady leading the way. She seems to be large and in charge. And there's a little one in blue in second. He looks comfortable. But look at this athlete. She's in charge. She knows what she wants. She's heading to the finish line. And she has done it superbly. Superb run. Superb run. And this guy looks good. Looks really good. Nice strike. That's an athlete. And the others are coming through. Some a little more slowly than others. But one of them is crying. One, is the, one of them is crying, but she's going to make it home. And the other one wondering what all the fuss about. Well, they're on the way. Here they come, first batch. Who is leading? We have a definite leader. We're not, we're not hearing a lot of shouts for this one. Now we're hearing the shouts. Now we're hearing the shouts. Nai Nai, get him some encouragement. And we have one of them stopping for her friend. And now they continue. She's laughing her way in. She does this really cool. Very cool indeed. And second, then third. Sometimes they're not interested, but here comes. It's the boys. Ramsay! 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 Now we're getting blocked by somebody who is more interested in the on camera than her son. And then the others. Here's a race on. Serious race on here. Serious race. Look at this race. It could be a photo finish here. Could be a bit of a photo finish. My goodness. My golly. Settles. Nice. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Can you ride one of these? Then you might want to take part in this. The National Weight Loss Program in association with SKM Moves, the Nevis Chapter, is hosting its second event, the Bike Relay, on Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. Registration now open. Come and sign up at the Health Promotion Unit upstairs office in the Ricardo Keynes building. $20 EC registration fee. Deadline registration, 17th of March, 2020. Full details will be given on day of registration. For further information, contact Sheila James on 469 or 469 extension 6393. It's gonna be a fabulous bike relay. Well, I'm back, and tonight athletics is in the spotlight. The Maud Cross Prep School held its annual sports meet on Friday, 6 March at the Eater Willett Park. The distinguished patron for the day was Mrs. Kimoy Pemberton Sweeney, former student and outstanding athlete of the school. The impressive March pass was highlighted by a magnificent display from the Explorers Jump Corps out of St. Kitts, who received a rousing round of applause for their outstanding performance. Shortly thereafter, the athletes took to the track and further excited the sizable crowd in races such as the 400, 800, 1200, 60, 100, 4x100 and 4x400 meters. There were also some fun races for the younger children. 
Some of the fundraisers were not completed on the day, but were completed at the school on Tuesday, 10th of March. The final point standings, Red House 494 points champions, Greenhouse 477 points in second, and Gold House in third on 300 points. The Victor Lodorum was Kemonte Challenger, the Victorious Lodorum Tiquana Dor. The class champions for the preschool, Lama Freeman and Rejone Leibert. For kindergarten, Lennox Wallace and Shanier Freeman. For grade one, Isaiah Herbert and Aya Alier Her Clark. Grade two, Jarim Doris and Desana Daly. Grade three, Jedante Sweeney and Ajanique Pemberton. Grade four, Gianna Stevens and Aidan Williams. Grade 5, Kemonte Challenger and Tijuana Door. We go now to the Eater Willet Park and we pick up the action there. I'm with Kemoi Pemberton Sweeney. Kemoi, it's an honor to have you as a patron today. How do you feel? I feel good. Okay. Glad to be here. And this was the school you attended in your primary years? Yes, it, it is. And what races did you major at? The one, the two, the four, and the really. And then, of course, you went on to secondary school and practically did the same thing? Yes. Even though I went to um, a private high school, I was still able to represent Nevis by um, through, through CSS. Nice. And um, are you rooting for any particular house today? Um, my son is on gold, but I was on green, so... Kind of mixed feeling. Yes, yes, very mixed. Whichever one win, no problem. Yes, whichever one what, win. Once your son win a couple of races. Yes, definitely. All right, well, I wish you all the best, okay? All right, thank you. Okay. First of the 100 meters, just about to get going. They're off. There's two athletes in this one. And they're running as if they're going on a Sunday afternoon jog. It's not going to be a record by any stretch of the imagination. And, uh, and just about pushing out now. But at least she knows that she's going to win this one with ease as she crosses lanes. And being chased now by her friend and takes it. They're off and running. Let's see if this could be a rapid one. Pretty rapid too. Little zigzagging, little zigzagging here. Zigzagging. But the point is, we have a leader. Green and gold, rushing through. This is a close one, creating a lot of excitement. Green, 1-1-1. One, one, one. 25 in second. And I think... Race just about to get going. They're off. And uh, this looks as if it's going to be a close one. The parents again getting involved. Look at them. Look at them. But look at this one. Here he comes. This is close. This is close. Serious race. Serious race that. I'm with Isaiah. Isaiah, what's your surname? It's Isaiah what? Herbert. Herbert. And where are you from? Nevis. I know from Nevis. Which village? Rollins? Yeah. Rollins. No. Back, yeah. Rollins Village. And what class are you in? Grade 1. Grade 1. Who taught you to run so fast? My daddy. Your dad? What's your dad's name? Kareem Herbert. Okay, and he could have run really fast, right? Yes. Now, that last race, what happened in that last race? How did that guy beat you? you he, he got the baton before you? No, he was in grade 2. Oh, he's a big boy. So, when, if he wasn't a big boy, you would have taken him down, right? Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. You know what I saw you did? You went and you shook his hand. That was very good. Who told you to shake his hand? My daddy. Your daddy? That was very good. And um, you're going to win the 100 meters? Yes. Nobody in grade 2 going to run against you in the 100, right? Yes. They're gonna no. No. Right. So you know you're going to take this one? Yes. All right. Get the camera. Big up. Big up. No, just big up. Nice, man. All right. All the best, right? Yes. Thank
Keeping an eye out for Isaiah. Let's see if he can manage this one. He did say he would do it. But he's being challenged because Red is there. We have a race on here, but Isaiah. Isaiah pulls away. Isaiah pulls away. Look at him. Champion run by the young athlete. Oh, yes, he says. Yes, he says. Yes. My goodness. Well, well, well. That's the star athlete. That's the star athlete. He can smile now. Here he goes. And uh, looking good. Looking good. Goal house. Goal house. Storming through. Storming his goal. Azure fighting for a place here. Gave it her all. But they're off and running. Let's hope nobody cuts across them. Parents getting close again. Loud shout. And who do we have in this one? A goal seem to be leading. A goal seem to be leading. And a red. And a goal and a red. A goal and a red. A goal and a red. And a red. Ah! Good race. Just about to get going. Here they go. Gold, green, red, and red. Red seems to be leading for the moment. And nobody's going to catch her. Nobody's going to catch her. Does that pretty easily. Number 54. Should be rushing down there in a moment. They are on their way. Who is leading in this one? Well, on the inside. Yeah, well, on the outside. We have a real race on here. Real race on here. Real race on. Wow. Serious race. Let's do this properly. Out of the block, screen starts. Who is going to take the lead? Well, it looks like Aiden Williams and the guy in red. Uh, the two uh, the two are uh, challenging each other, but Aiden Williams pulling away. Aiden Williams pulling away by a long shot. By a long shot. And mommy would be happy. Marissa Robinson is happy. And uh, keep your eyes open for these guys who will be going to into primary. Clean start. Let's see who is leading on this one. There's a red house athlete and a green house athlete challenging each other. This could be tight, but green is pulling away. Green is storming away. With ease. With ease. With ease. With ease. Well, this... Oh, no. They're the big boys to come after this. These are the grade six girls now. And there's a red house athlete. Somebody cuts across in a lane. Just cut across in the lane there. They're off. Good start. Who is going to take this one? There's a red house at the storming away. Storming away. Well, well, well. Powerful guy. And his friends. And that's it for us here at the ETW. And so we say congratulations to the Maud Cross Prep School. And even more congratulations to the Red House Posse. That's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and a sacrifice. Have a good night.